good students let's start uh, let's begin again with um uh, let's continue actually with the tutorial that we started last time of uh, mixing in, in cubase in cubase 5 so i was mixing a song and i'd use these these plugins and this is how the song was sounding so it was pitch correct a compressor and roomworks and also i did some eq and this is how the song was sounding number one chick let me be number b your number one chick number one chick yeah. i don't wanna waste your time so let's see else let's see what else we can add to our to our mix right uh, as you can hear if i mute especially the instrumental you can hear that there is a lot of high frequency sounds featuring in this voice number one chick Number one chick, let me be, let me be your number one chick. Number one chick. So it has got too much sibilance. We call it sibilance. Too much high frequency sounds caused by the letters C's and D's and T's and F's and she's and cheese and all that. Right. So to get a DSer, you can use. So a DSer is the plug in that will reduce the high frequencies or the sibilance in your vocal. So it's found under dynamics and then choose DSer. Right now, let's uh, re, uh, change the reduction level from five, which is the default, to round about maybe nine. Okay, let's close this one and now let's listen again. Check. Yeah. I don't wanna waste your time. Already, as you can hear, it's more disciplined and uh, it's smoother as far as the high frequencies are concerned. It's no longer sharp and irritating. All right. Oh baby, boy, I know I can teach you right, teach you right. It lights up here, it shows you all the F sounds and the sh sounds and the sibilance that are being reduced uh, by the DS. Uh, let's, let's proceed with some other things that you can add. Alright, uh, you can also add delay to your voice, to your signal, right? The delay uh, will give you some kind of an echo or a repetition of your voice. And how do you get a delay? You go to the E go to delay here and choose mono delay because we are working on a mono channel right so uh go back again to the e and click on the e to see the effect right let me close this all right so now this is the delay uh, plug in so first thing that you should do is to reduce the mix start with maybe a mix of 11. uh the delayed voice must be in the background so this is the voice of the delay i mean this is the level of the delayed voice it must be in the background hidden there also the high frequencies must be must be low also you don't want any high sibilance in or high frequencies featuring in the uh, delayed signal it will clash with the original signal right and then also feedback zero uh, that means the voice will repeat only once for example number one check number one check and then it stops if you get a lot of feedback it will repeat 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 maybe three or four times right and then you uh, the, the other thing that you do, or the most important thing now, is to deactivate this part and then choose your delay time. So if it's like, for example, 175, this is how it will sound. Let me be your number one chick, number one chick, yeah. Let me increase the mix. So I don't want to waste your time, oh baby. You hear the delayed voice, it's still close, it's very close to the original voice. So let me increase the delayed, the delay time, 425. Boy, I know I can treat you right, fit you right. Let me be, let me be your number one. Right, now you hear it's it's a little bit coming late, uh, but again, it's not in time with the beat, right, or with the tempo. So let me try 600 and play from here. Number one chick, number one chick. Let me be, let me be your number one chick, number one chick. your time oh baby boy i know i can treat you right treat you right let me be let me be your number one chick number one chick let me be let me be your number one chick right as you can hear 600 is working as my delay time so always make sure that your delay time you is well with the beat. That means the tempo of the beat is going along with the tempo, the speed of the beat. You my body language, body language. Oh baby, better read up my body language, body language. I don't wanna waste your time. Oh baby. Okay, let's reduce the mix a little bit to maybe 
10 because it must always be hidden the, the background voice Boy, I know I can treat you right, treat you right. Let me be, let me be, your number one chick, number one chick. Let me be, let me be, your number one chick. Right, that's a uh, delay. So, how many plugins do we have now? Um, let's go to our E, and you can see pitch correct compressor, Roomworks, uh, which is the reverb, DSR, and delay. All right, let's see what else you can do to your voice. Right. You can also add filters and some other things to your voice. What are filters? They're just plugins that you can use to create unusual sounds for your voice. Right. Uh, maybe you want it to sound like it's in a phone or sound like it's under the water. Some cool sounds that you can create using filters. Right. Um, if you go to E to get filters, click on the arrow and click choose a filter. So let's start with maybe Wawa filter. This is what it will do to your voice. That means you might not want to put a filter all the way on the on the whole channel. Maybe you want to select certain points or certain words or just a single line to put your filter on. That means you need to remove it from from here. So to remove no effect and then discard so that means when you want to put it on a certain voice or on a certain word you have to find out which which word it is all right i'm zooming so i can see which words i can select one chick yeah i'm a one chick number one chick right, so let's it's on number one chick that's where i want to put a certain filter I will come here, check the split two, split here, split here. I'm separating uh, the two. Uh, I'm separating this, this, this word or these words from the whole channel, right? And then I come at the top, audio, plugins. I will now choose filter from here, right? So first of all, you need to select it. So after you've cut, go back to the mouse and then select it once like this. Then go to audio, plugins and filter now choose your filter right you can now preview number one check in order for you to yeah. hear and then uh, you can even click here to choose other presets so if you want telephone voice if you want a sharp voice um you can always be previewing here number one check yeah number one check yeah. right. one more then number one check Right. Okay, this is the filter that I want. Then you say stop. And then you say process to apply that plugin, that, that filter. Okay, let me now play from behind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number one chick, number one chick, let me be, let me be your number one chick, number one chick, yeah. Right. I don't As you can hear, the filter has been applied there. Let's now play together with the instrumental. So the rest of the channel doesn't have a filter. Number one chick, number one chick, let me be, let me be your number one chick. to remove the filter you can always say edit undo and the filter will be gone number one check number one check okay, let's say you want to apply something else just click and go again to audio uh, plugins uh, filter there's so many other filters that you can choose from but i'm just using this wow and then let's try maybe uh, fox wow right then preview and then process new version right let's play from here check number one check let me be let me be your number one check right to increase the volume for that point only click on that part and then increase the blue box or raise up the blue box that's the amplitude let me be your number one check number one check 
so we'll continue with other things that you can add as you do your your mixing so this is how it's sounding We'll continue with uh, adding more stuff or showing you more stuff that you can do when you're doing your uh, your mixing. All right, thank you. <laughs> 